name is uh, Professor Rafiq Parkar. I am a consultant of obstetrician gynecologist practicing in Nairobi and I have a special interest in hystoscopic and laparoscopic surgery. After I finished my undergraduate, I was working at a clinic in Mombasa called the Mukomani Clinic. And it was here that we were conducting workshops to train doctors in uh, performing various um, aspects of family planning, including surgical contraception. And it was at one of these workshops, uh, Professor Mati was the head of department of OBS and Gaini at University of Nairobi. He was uh, the chief guest and he actually told his registrar to ask me if I was interested in obstetrics and gynecology. And I took the opportunity and I joined the University of Nairobi. I think it's been excellent. Once I finished my master's, I went and worked in Kilifi District Hospital, where I did a lot of surgical work, many, many challenging cases. That was the joy of um, specializing in, in uh, obstetrics and gynecology, because you had very challenging issues, like um, huge fibroids. You had patients uh, who were multiparous. You had all the possible issues with res respect to pregnancies. And um, I enjoyed working at uh, Kilifi um, District Hospital. I was there for seven years. And I think that laid a very strong foundation to my surgical career in times to come. That was uh, by chance uh, one day at uh, at the Khalifi Hospital Theatre, I wanted a special type of suture which was not available in the operation theatre. So one of the theatre staff took me to the medical stores and as usual, um, a dark store, a lot of cobwebs, a lot of boxes. And as we were sifting through these boxes, I found a brand new laparoscope set which had been donated to the hospital to propagate tubal ligation, laparoscopic tubal ligation. And I actually pulled it out from the boxes and um, that's how I started doing laparoscopic surgery in Kilifi. And then of course I went to Germany and France and acquired a lot of additional training um, to reach where I am today. I think as you advance in your career, um, what drives a person is to take on challenging cases, cases that normally would, would not succeed. For example, I had a 53-year-old uh, lady a few years ago who had not had any pregnancies. And she came to me, she had not seen a period for 11 years, she had Asherman syndrome where there was extensive scarring inside the uterus. We operated on her. Uh, in spite of many of my colleagues having given up on her, I took the challenge, we operated on her, and uh, I managed to form a very good cavity, sent her immediately for IVF, and she conceived triplets, which we then delivered. So that, those are the challenging cases that one takes up and feels good about because uh, I, I don't like uh, not to give hope to, to women, especially when it comes to issues of fertility. I've really enjoyed my career. Um, I think I've achieved um, a lot, not only for this country, but for the continent. What I would like to do henceforth is to try and encourage the younger surgeons to embrace laparoscopic surgery, to take up challenging cases, create a niche and experience and move forward. That way, I think more women can benefit. What I would really like to do is to try and uh, convince some of the counties to invest in this equipment and then I make myself available to train the various doctors at the county level. Uh, if that happens, that would be a dream come true. I think at the end of the day, 
It's about choices. We are now doing very challenging cases in laparoscopic surgery, huge fibroids, multiple fibroids. I think it's important that women have that option. Whether a doctor performs these procedures or not, the women should not be denied that option. And at the end of the day, once they get the, all the options available, let them make the choices.